What a first match we've had here today on Southeastern Wrestling. We'd like to have some videotaped highlights that we'd like to show right now as uh, LeDuc makes his way to our broadcast desk. Exciting first match, Tony Charles, U.S. Junior Heavyweight Champion, the winner of the World Junior Heavyweight Champion. About to the uh, Southeastern Champion here. Southeastern Heavyweight Champion is with us, and we have some videotape, Joe. That's right, roll it. I want to talk about a man. The punk has tried to hurt the man, but he can't do it. Just look at him. He's tried to look at all the people and get some cheer. Rojo, you're not here to get cheer. You're, you're here to try to beat me and try to take this belt. I'll tell you something, punk. You better start hitting me a little harder because you're a little too light. 21-year-old, you're a little too light, and you're going to start to eat potatoes because you're against a man. And you're going to have to find out because, Rujo, you don't know what experience is. I've been in this business a little longer than you. And look at it now. See, the man can't do it. That's only, that's only a little trick of my own. Don't worry about it because the man is going to be laying down and we're going to have to teach a little respect lesson to you, Rujo. You watch him right now. He's going to take his pill and he's going to have to shut up. Now it's time for the man work. This is a man's world, Rojo, and we, you're going to find out. Comments you're hearing from the Southeastern heavyweight champion, Joe LaDuke. And uh, here you make use of that belt. I make use of anything, Charlie Platt, because the name of the game is winning. And who's got the belt? That's right. There's another belt that you're going to see in a minute. We're going to show you a little something here. The punk has been unrespectful to me, and I'm going to show him a little lesson. Because first of all, he's just a punk. He's a pimple face, and he's a test tube baby. As far as I'm concerned, he doesn't belong here. It's your next trip when you finish here, Rujo, is back south and then to Puerto Rico or some kind of island. There you go. You want some belt, Rujo? You got a belt now, punk. Are you here? The uh, well, that's all there is to it. You want the belt here? This belt belonged to me, and nobody's going to take it away. He'll be taking on Jacques Rougeau in today's television main event. Television main event. No time for the introduction. The entire studio. Championship Wrestling, our television main event, the Canadian Lumberjack, Joe LaDuke, and Jacques Rougeau. LaDuke on Rougeau, right from the opening minute when Jacques climbed in the ring. Joe LaDuke trapped Jacques Rougeau in that bear hug. Joe LaDuke had been working on the back of Jacques Rougeau, clamps down with that bear hug, twisting and grinding the lower back muscles of Jacques fighting for everything he's worth. Rougeau trying to get to that nose of the Canadian Lumberjack. Jean Rougeau trapped in the bear hug of Joe LaDuke. LaDuke squeezing 285 pounds The tremendous strength of the Canadian Lumberjack. Coming to bear on the lower back muscles of Jacques Rougeau as the television studio audience goes wild. Rougeau trying to fight his way out of the grip of steel of Joe LaDuke. Jacques Rougeau trying to prize back the head. Referee Larry Brock twice. No. Rougeau fighting back for everything he's worth. Somewhere deep down inside this young man is something that makes him fight on. Trapped by the Canadian lumberjack Joe LaDuke in that bear hug. And what an excitement. Uh, wait, wait a minute. LaDuc has tied Rougeau into the ropes. Off comes that belt. You can't, you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. What does he want? Look. He wanted. Look at this. Rougeau has the belt of Joe LaDuc. And Rougeau. Producer's in the ring. 
Let's get out of this. The television main event. One fall with the 15-minute time limit. Now entering the ring, 231, Montreal, Canada. The Southeastern heavyweight champion, Jacques Rougeau. His opponent, 285, Montreal, Quebec, the Canadian lumberjack, Joe Leduc. Joe Leduc taking on the Southeastern heavyweight champion, Jacques Rougeau. Keeping with our dream match tradition, this is it. Our television main event. A main eventer in uh, any arena throughout the country. A lot of anxiety between uh, these two men, a lot of problems uh, popping up in the last two months between these two uh, fellow countrymen. And still a lot to settle in the minds of both Jacques Rougeau and Joe LaDuke. And uh, referring to something you said about uh, a feud going to the point of almost war, this would have to be it because uh, a lot has uh, happened between these two men in the last couple of months, Rick. So many factors enter into the differences between the Canadian Lumberjack and Jacques Rougeau. National pride, professional pride, family pride, and just basically pride in being a man. LeDuc dropped the Southeastern title under questionable circumstances. Catches Rougeau, tremendous body tackle. When that 285 pounds catches anyone, they're going to move. The Canadian lumberjack, Joe LeDuc, with the 50-pound weight advantage on Rougeau. Rougeau with a slight edge in speed, maybe a slight edge in the fundamental scientific knowledge of the sport but the Canadian Lumberjack has been a wrestler for quite some time and a very very successful wrestler when you talk of a world-class competitor Leduc likes to call himself a citizen of the world and it's not an exaggeration this man has wrestled at the four corners of the world six of the seven continents the Canadian Lumberjack Joe Leduc known throughout the wrestling world and the world at large. Test of strength between both men. Leduc would have to have the advantage here at 285. They didn't call this man the freight train for nothing. Leduc, the man who pulled a Greyhound bus by himself. Certainly one of the strongest and most powerful men in professional wrestling. Rougeau, dynamic and tough in his own right. Very, very hard on physical conditioning. A day doesn't go by when you won't find this young man in the gym. The Canadian Lumberjack with the advantage, that tremendously powerful side headlock, those 22-inch arms clamping down on the young Southeastern champion's head. Jacques Rougeau, Charlie, puts a lot on the line, but he brings against Joe LeDuc on television. With a tremendous flying drop kick that rocks the Canadian Lumberjack. LeDuc with the advantage throughout the first two minutes of this match. To his attention off Rougeau long enough for this young man to get up in the air with those devastating drop kicks. And Jacques Rougeau just might be turning this match around. Side headlock on the Canadian Lumberjack from the Southeastern champion. Joe LeDuc, the man Jacques Rougeau lifted that title from. And Charlie, you know the pride of the Canadian Lumberjack. And you know that he has not forgotten that Jacques Rougeau is the man that beat him for that championship. Uh, that, uh, that's the understatement. And uh, going back to that personality profile, bringing out all the points that LeDuc did, uh, LeDuc... Uh, Somewhat of a madman in the past two or three months here in the southeastern wrestling area. Right now he's opening fire on uh, Jacques Rougeau. Good block by Rougeau. Rougeau fires back with the right of his own and a good right connection to the side of the head. Rocks the big man. Jacques Rougeau, who just moments ago looked on the verge of defeat, has completely turned this match around, stunning the Canadian Lumberjack. Lift 285 pounds over his head for a full body slam. A count of two on Joe LaDuke, and it's a testimony to the toughness of the Lumberjack that he was able to power out of that, Charlie. Good form by Rougeau. Reversal by Joe LaDuke going right head on into ring official Marvin Kelly. Kelly outside the ring. Uh, LaDuke leaves the ring and heads for the dressing room. But what? Having a, a... Wait a minute. An aerosol. What is this? An aerosol can. It's 
the stench in the television, the stench in the... The what is spraying that cloth with, with something from an aerosol can is, is wrapped it around the face of Jacques Rougeau. It's, there's a, a, a hospital-like smell in the studio, almost a sickeningly sweet smell. Rougeau is, Rougeau is on the canvas, his legs... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa. Rougeau with clippers. The Canadian lumberjack, Joe Ledoux. A pair of barber shears is this is ridiculous. The hair this, this is beyond the hair of Jacques. This, this certainly the Rougeau. This almost, is beyond the sport of wrestling whatsoever. This is this is, this is not wrestling. There should be. Is there someone? Senior senior referee Larry Brock and Jacques Rougeau unconscious. Brock. Ledoux. Taken out on that boat. This is getting. This is, the smell in the studio arena almost. It's a sickeningly sweet smell. Rougeau hasn't moved since Ledoux clamped that towel over his face. In the years that I've followed professional wrestling, I've never seen anything like this. This is disgusting. Joe Ledoux shearing the head of Jacques Rougeau. The Canadian Lumberjack. Patches of bald scalp. So this is sickening. I don't want to. I don't know what this. Jacques Rougeau is still ill from whatever that the, the sickening smell in the studio. Something uh, that smells on the uh, something like ether. I'll tell you what. Come on. A lot of bad moments in my life. And I, I sure, I sure, I sure, I want everybody to know out here. Yeah, you could, you could go ahead. Come take your twist. You go ahead and look. And you, could, you could look at my head and tell everybody how much a man you are, Joe Duke, but you just. He just showed you through colors. And I'm not embarrassed to walk here ball headed because I beat you. I put my hair up for that belt and I won it. I worked hard for it. And I sure didn't expect you to. Wait. I'm going to tell you one thing, LaDuke. You're doing it your rules. You're doing it your way. Tonight, my man, I'm going to decide to do it my way. Any night I get with you, anywhere it's going to be at, I'm going to put my rules and my size 12 right up here and i'm gonna get you i'm gonna put more scars on your head that you ever had in your whole life and i'm gonna open them up i'm gonna make you look like a real canadian leduc and i rate jack leduc and uh, rightfully so